Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to see how Azure Backup works by backing up an Azure Virtual Machine. Azure Backup is a service that you can use to backup the virtual machines that you have uh, on your own premises. Also, you can backup Azure VMs and other file shares, managed disks, and as in the list, you have many other services. You are doing this to keep your data safe from, let's say, ransomware attacks or any compliance reasons. Now, let's go ahead and create a virtual machine on Azure so that we can configure backup. I have created this small script to create the virtual machine. Let me run this now. My virtual machine is now in place. Let me go to Azure portal and click refresh. As you can see, we have the virtual machine. What I'm going to do is I'm going to RDP into it. Now, let me go into File Explorer here on the C drive. I'm going to create a file. Now I have changed the virtual machine. I have made a change to the C drive. And now let me close this and I'm going back. I'm going into operations and backup section. We have two approaches for us to configure backup for this virtual machine. One of the ways is that using this wizard here to create the recovery services vault and create the backup. We need a recovery services vault to keep the backup data. When you do this, you also need a backup policy. The default policy has been selected. You can click on this and change the policy. Today, I'm not going to use this wizard here. I'm going to create a new recovery services vault first, then I will create the backup from there. Now I'm going into the resource group again and I'm going to click on create and then as you can see, we have backup and site recovery. I'm going to click create. This is the service that keeps our backups and if you are working with site recovery, we will have that replications here as well. Today, our topic is backup. Now let me create a recovery services vault. Let's call it recovery service one. And since I have created my virtual machine in Southeast Asia region, I'm going to select that. And then I'm going to go ahead and create this resource. All right, let me go in. And here we have in the getting started section, we have backup and site recovery and we have other section protected items. And when it comes to protected items, we have backup items and replicated items. In this video, our target is backup and backup items. I'm going into backup and here we can select the place where that our workloads are running. Since my virtual machine is running on Azure, I'm going to keep this as it is. And we have a few options here. We can backup virtual machines, Azure file shares, virtual machines with SQL Server or SAP HANA installed. I'm going with virtual machine and I'm going to click on backup. Now we can configure the backup policy. Let me click on create a new policy and you can name the policy and here we have the configurations. We can change the backup frequency. You can go from daily to weekly. When you're selecting weekly, you will have the option to change the days of the week as well. I'm going with daily and you can change the time as well. This is a feature that lets you restore your backups fast. Basically what this will do is, this will keep the storage accounts that contains the files hydrated. Two days are okay for me and also we have a few other options as well. Configure weekly backups or even longer term backups like monthly or yearly backups as well. And when you click on it, you have the option to change the configurations for each of these items. And here, as you can see, Azure Backup creates a different resource group to store the restore points in a restore point collection resource. Here we have a text box that we can name that as well but i'm going to keep this as it is let me click ok all right now here we have a summary of my backup schedule and now we can select the virtual machines that we want to be backed up with this policy i'm going to click add and here we have the virtual machine let me click ok and we have an option here to back up only the operating system disk i don't want to do this for now let me enable backup. As you can see, the deployment is complete. Now I'm going into the resource. 
if I go into backup items now, we can see the backup management type and the number of items in it. And here we have one in Azure Virtual Machine type. Let me go into that. And here we can see the server virtual machine and the last backup status is initial backup pending. As you can see, we have no restore points. Even though we have enabled backup, we have configured backup for these virtual machines. We haven't backed it up yet. We just created the schedule for it to back up the virtual machine. If I go here, I can click on it and create the backup manually. And we can specify the date that we want this backup to be retained. By default, this is a month from the date that you're backing up. You can change this as well. Let me add a one day. Today is 18th of this month and I can't add 19. I should add say 20 here. As you can see, this happens in a synchronous manner, triggering backup for server virtual machine. This can take some time depending on the size of your virtual machine. Let's come back after this is done. After around 10 minutes, we can see that we have a restore point in my Azure Recovery Services Vault. Now, if you look here, this is a application consistent backup. And this snapshot contains the virtual machine as a whole. This uses Windows Shadow Copy to capture the content of the machine memory and any pending IO operations as well. And if this process fails for some reason, there will be a file system consistent backup. And here we have crash consistent as well. This level of consistency usually occurs if the virtual machine is shut down at the time of the backup. Now, if I click here, we can see the information on the operations that is happening on the virtual machines that I have attached to this recovery services vault. Now, let me go back. And now if I go to the resource group section here, we can see a restore point collection resource as well. Now I'm going back to the main resource group. Now I'm going into the virtual machine resource. And if I scroll down into backup section, we can see the same UI as the recovery services vault. If I go here into these three dots, we have the option to restore the virtual machine or recover files. I'm first going to show you how to use file recovery. Let me click on it now. As you can see, we have three steps here. The first one is selecting the recovery point. Since we have only one recovery point, we can't change it as you can see. And then we have an option to download an executable. So what this will do is, this will mount the drives of this recovery point on the machine that we run this on. Now let me download this. All right, now I have downloaded the exe and I have moved the exe to the virtual machine that we have created earlier. And here, if we go into C drive, we have the backup sample here. Now let me delete this. I'm going into PowerShell and then I'm going to run this as administrator. Now let me run this exe. I'm going to desktop. And now we have to insert the password that was generated here in the portal. I'm going to copy that and paste it here. Now we have successfully mounted the drives. Now I'm going into this PC and here we have our Windows drive and temporary storage of this virtual machine. And then we have two new drives. Now if I go into this Windows drive, we can see the file that we have created earlier. Now this is how you can use file recovery of Azure backup. Now let me close this and end this service. I'm going to close this as well. And here, step three is we can unmount the disks. Once you have recovered the files that you want, you can unmount it from here. Now I'm going back to the server VM. Now let's try out restore VM option here. You can do it from here as well. As you can see for restoring the virtual machine, we have to specify a restore point. For that, we can select it from here. All right. Now we have two options. We can create a new virtual machine and we can replace existing. This option will replace the disks of your existing virtual machines. Now for this demo, I'm going with create new virtual machine option. Now let me call it 
recovered VM. And then the same resource group is fine. The same virtual network is also okay. Even the subnet is okay. Now here we have to specify a staging location for this backup. I'm specifying this storage account that I have already created. Now let me click on restore. Now as you can see the asynchronous process has started. Let me come back when this is done. Now if I go into VRoll jobs here we have the restore operation and as you can see it is completed. Now I'm going into the resource group and I'm going to refresh it. Here as you can see we have the recovered virtual machine. Now I can go in and as you can see, a public IP address has already been assigned to this virtual machine and I can just connect to it. Let me copy the public IP address. Now I'm connecting to the virtual machine. I can use the same username and password as well. Now I'm going into Files Explorer and C Drive. As you can see, we have the change that we have done initially. And today we learned what Azure Backup is and then we saw how you can use file recovery to recover files by mounting the restore point on a computer that you prefer. And then we saw how to create a full virtual machine from that restore points. If you have any further questions or comments, let me know down below. And don't forget to subscribe and like this video if you learned something new today. And thanks for watching.